Hi everybody, and welcome to No Man's Sky. Now, let me get the unfortunate bit of news out of the way. I'm not currently drunk, which is a tragedy, I know, because it means that this video is not going to be particularly entertaining. Now, what's also going to make it not particularly entertaining is the fact that I'm playing No Man's Sky, which is more a game about relaxation than, you know, its entertainment value. But it's a game that, despite the controversy surrounding it, I enjoy mostly because of its premise, you know. It is very gather, survive, things like that. Not particularly interesting stuff on the surface, but just the fact that you get your ship and you can just travel an infinite amount of worlds and just explore for something for some reason it's something that just speaks to me completely so I just hopped into my starship and we're just gonna fly around this planet for a bit and see if we can find anything interesting now here we are we're flying away also this video is capped at 30 FPS because this game is not not very stable Looks like there's something in the distance over here. Not very stable, and it probably will drop below 30 at points, but capping it at 30 should make for the best experience possible, so that's what it's capped at. It looks like we found a little tiny shelter here. Or, no, this isn't a shelter. I don't think there's any going to be anybody here. Oh, oop, do not land. Okay. Not a very wide landing area there. Okay, hopefully that was not too far away from where we were going. Oh, that was actually turned out to be a pretty good landing. I just heard something yelling. Look at that little guy. It is a Euphrazine Purifier, a uh, female, and it's, it's prey, so it's not going to hurt us. This game kind of procedurally generates not only the planets, but the animals and the plant life and everything in it. Which, again, means that some things get a little bit repetitive, but it also means that this game is pretty damn near infinite. Um, I would say there really isn't that much of a goal. I mean, I guess the old overarching goal is to make it to the center of the universe, but it's not going to kill you to really not... It's not going to kill you to just do your own thing and go off the beaten trail and do whatever you want. Another peaceful animal. And then what's this one right here? Another peaceful animal. Okay, so nothing around that's going to kill us right now except for the radiate. See that orange bar right there represents radiation, so we got to keep an eye on that. Beyond that, we're fine. And then once you go inside buildings like this, it kind of stabilizes. The radiation does seem to be very weak on this planet, so I'm not... I'm not concerned, really. Ooh. This grid means that this is something. I don't know what element it is, though. It's emerald. So now, if I want to take my trusty gun out and... Hit it. There we go, I got some emerald. And that's zinc and thalmium 9. I'm actually going to pick up those things right now. Because I might as well. Do 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 do. See, after after making a drunken ass out of myself, it feels good to just you know, just chill, play around and play a game where you can just where you can just chill. The funny thing about this though is that this game, for all of its meditative qualities, probably has the most angry and visceral reaction on the internet, both from its fans. And from his detractors. Like, this game legitimately angers people. And it's because the uh, developers were less than honest during their promotion of the game itself. But because I didn't buy into the hype, just like I don't buy into hype in general, um, I still find a lot to enjoy here. Which I probably wouldn't have if I became a victim to hype culture like most people are these days. Let's speed up a little bit and see what's right here. It's the same reason why I enjoy Fallout 4, 
It's the same reason why I enjoyed ukulele. Um, I feel like you shouldn't get hyped for things anymore. It's a recipe for disaster. And it shouldn't be that way, but that's just the fact of the matter. I'm not going to land there. It's kind of lame. It's just uh, barrels with some element in them that I don't... I'm at a point in the game right now where I don't even know what that element does, so... I'll probably regret not getting it at some point, but for right now, I don't much care. Okay, and right here is a place where I can upgrade my... My storage capacity for my exosuit, but... I do not believe that I have the money for that right now. It's probably going to be more than 130,000. So 140,000, so I don't have enough and I wouldn't have bought it anyway. I'm actually fairly good with the uh, inventory capacity for right now. Another peaceful animal. All these animals have been peaceful. Let's hit up this waypoint. Why not? Looks like there's another thing not far from us. So we'll just hit another few spots and then we'll see what it's like to uh, get off the planet maybe land at a space station or another planet and just go from there just chill got some plutonium right here I can use that wow that thing is a whiner huh that thing whined right in my right ear this game is a very good game to play with headphones on because it really is if you're if you're open to the idea of just getting lost and kind of a time kill. I consider this in the same vein that I consider games like Minecraft and Euro Truck Simulator. They're just, they're good time sinks, you know? I wouldn't call it worth $60, but I'd call it a good time. No alcohol required. Let's see what we have over here. Five, four, three, two, one. Uh, some kind of crash site? I don't even know. It's getting closer. I got a shit ton of notifications that I am not going to pay attention to right now. Um, looks like we have some technology here. Nanite clusters. You can use that to buy blueprints. Text messages and other shit. Yankees are beating the Royals 2 0. That's good news. And somehow our starting pitching hasn't given up a billion runs yet. Platinum over there. Zinc over there. Thalmium over there. Gonna get the Thalmium. Probably my favorite resource in the game. It's basically carbon on steroids. Alright, so after this, we're gonna hit up one more question mark. This is pretty... This is a pretty planet. I like this one. In fact, let me go into the thing and just label this one. Oh, nope. I already just called it Rock. <laughs> well, not the best name for it. You can name whatever planets you discover. And since this isn't connected to the internet right now, nobody else has had the chance to name this one on me yet. Now, why wouldn't this be connected to the internet? Hmm. I don't know. We don't have to get into that. So how are we doing on that Thaumium? The little Thaumium pickup we have right there. Alright, so now I pretty much have enough to kind of hold on to for myself. So that's good. My coolant hasn't been used because this isn't a hot planet. It's a radioactive planet. No big deal. NBD, as the cool kids like to say. Alright, so let's let's find one more location. And I won't land unless it looks... It looks, you know, proper interesting. I don't think that we came from this way, right? So let's... Let's fly this way a bit. My launch thrusters are... A little low. Okay. What's this that I'm looking at over here? doesn't quite tell me. Hmm. Okay, looks like we have something over here. It's fairly far away. 
Uh, not really. Um. Yeah, why not? Let's see what this is. This could be our last stop on this planet for now. I'll come back when I want. Not a problem. More plutonium? Absolutely. Hard to have enough plutonium. Awesome. Alright, what do we have over here? Can't interact with that. I am very pleasantly surprised with how stable the frame rate's been so far. Famous last words, I know, but... This game hasn't been running particularly well for me until... Until I started recording, isn't that weird? Probably gonna regret saying that, but we'll see. Oh, but it looks like this place has seen better days. Abandoned building? Usually this gives you a little, uh, blueprints or something of that kind of sort. Something that will aid me on my journey. Take a swig of my seltzer. Nanite clusters, oh my god. Since this update, nanite clusters are damn everywhere. Nanite clusters, oh lord. You're nothing if not consistent, game. Alright. Thoroughly enjoyed this planet. I'll probably come back to explore a bit. But for right now, let's get our money. Cool. And let's get off. So let's take a look around. Didn't I see a planet before that was kind of right by us? What do we have over there? That's that's a sun. Oh, there we go. So we can travel there if we want. It looks like a very watery area. And we're off. Let's stop for a second. We have what looks like a freighter over there. We have our space station over there. Over here we have a planet called Uma something with emerald and nickel on it. Where we just came from was the aforementioned rock. There's definitely more to see in this system than what I've showed so far, but let's let's try over here. This is where we were pointed, so it makes sense. We have quite a distance to go. It's over a minute away. So, I get to take my hands off the controls and uh, take another swig of my seltzer. Looking at planets from the outside used to give a very poor indicator of what the planet actually looked like when you got there. Not so much anymore. It, you get a better idea now of what the uh, surface of the planet actually looks like from space, and I appreciate that. Now we are halfway through. Um, I'm going to have to decide what I'm going to name this planet when I get there. My actual goal is to actually get out of this system entirely, but that'll be the uh, finale of this video. Alright, we're closing in. We could, uh, refuel our launch thrusters, our pulse engine. Let's slow down before we get hit with an asteroid. Okay. I kind of want to slow down just to admire the view, but let's, let's hit it again and get in there.
Here we are. It looks like I was pretty right on in uh, thinking this to be a very watery planet. Looks to be wide amount of ocean, followed by very small spits of land. Let's see if we can find something, somewhere to stop. Whatever that is, is very underwater, so let's, let's try to find something on land. We'll stick to the land for now. We can always get out and explore the water and all things like that. Nothing is stopping us. Alright, looks like we found something. And once we get out, we can get a good idea of the climate. Oh, this is more of that, uh... Yeah, I'm not interested in that. Very pretty planet. No complaints there. Definitely visually a good looking planet. Doesn't look like it's going to be the greatest planet in the way of finding actual stuff, though. Just because of how much ocean there is. There is a lot of ocean. But ocean planets are good later in the game because there are elements that are pretty much exclusive to ocean planets. But right now it's making life hard to, uh, you know find something interesting to land at. Oh. There we go. That looks like a proper shelter right there. So, this is a cold planet, and obviously very, uh, stormy weather. Negative 104 degrees Celsius, it is very cold. Which means that I'm trying to figure out how to get in this building very quickly, and it's not going well for me. Oh, it's the kind of place where I'm going to have to... Alright, I'm going to have to rethink this whole strategy here. Let's get back to the ship quickly. As I consider wasting a bunch of plutonium getting my ship closer to that door. You guys must be very resistant to the weather if you're running around in here. Alright. Let's, uh... Let's warm up a little bit. Let's take a look at that life support of mine. Okay. Refilled. I'll let the hazard protection solve itself naturally. And we'll get, we'll try to fly a little bit close to that door. Straight up and down. Alright. Gotta be quick here. Now, if you shoot these doors, you're gonna have, uh, angry, angry folks coming after you, so. Gotta be prepared to defend yourself. Combat in this game is very, uh, clearly an afterthought. There's really not much to it. But, right now my concern is getting inside this damn door. Alright, we'll be safe in here. Okay, so we can get a look around, see if there's anything good in here. More nanites. My word. Locked door that I can't get into yet, because I don't know how to make atlas passes. What's over here? Locked door that I can't get into, because I don't know how to make atlas passes. And right here is nothing, so... Our last thing to look at is whatever this is. Let's see. 
I rapidly flipped through alien warnings to discover what brought the facility online. All too late, I realize I'm doing the exact same thing again and again. I've done this before many times. Warning and time. Okay. So, time, clock, let's reset the clock. I loop in time for several days and automated process eventually rescues me. Okay, well that did not help me. Well, <laughs> I got nothing out of that. It's very hard to figure out what you're supposed to do when um, you don't know the l alien language. This storm rages on. Let's see if we can find one more spot to hit up before we leave. Alright, storm is clearing as I crash my ship into a bunch of garbage. So at least we don't have to deal with that storm anymore. Is this waypoint in the water? Yes it is. I feel like I can actually hear the uh, rain hitting my ship as I'm flying, which I believe is a new feature. I don't remember that. Let's try to find one more spot to land. That's all I want. One more spot to land. I can land anywhere that I want, but you know, I want to make sure that it's worth my time when I land. So I'm looking for one of those little question marks. Not having much luck. I feel like I'm not going to have a whole lot of luck because of just how little land there is. That looks like another spot right in the middle of the ocean. Yep. Check for another minute or so. That looks promising. Five, four, three... To... Oh, this looks like it's... Oh, it's a trade terminal. Alright. And we have little trace bits of plutonium over here. Alright, so it looks like when there isn't a storm, the temperatures are actually fine on this planet. It's when there's a storm that you have to... Uh, be a bit worried. See, so right now I can just chill out here without having to, you know, worry about getting into my ship or into a building. So that's that's good at least. At some point, you get to build your own home base, and when I do get to do that, I'm hoping to find a place that has perfectly good temperatures. But it's a rarity. In fact, I don't know if I found a single planet yet that has completely stable temperatures all the time. So this right here is a trade terminal, which is a place where you can sell your stuff. Now normally I do this right now, but I'm actually going to go to the space station anyway, so I might as well do that there. Just so... I actually have something to do when I get to the space station. So let's get off this planet. Sometimes you'll... It's a very nice planet to look at, but, you know, sometimes you'll just have bad luck. And not have a planet that's particularly great in terms of the actual stuff you can get from it. So now, if I was a betting man, I'd say this is where I just came from. Actually, no, I feel like these are probably two small moons. 
All right. Well, let's let's first get out of the atmosphere. Nope, I was wrong. That's I think the planet that we just came from. So that should be rock. Yep. All right. So there's our space station. And let's get let's get over there. There's a space station in every system. Good spots to check out. You can usually tell what's like the native alien race by going to the space stations. All other kinds of goodness. Now I'm hoping that the space station isn't on the other side of this planet. That would be inconvenient. Nope. Alright, good. This space station is awfully green. I don't know if that's a texture glitch or... Oh, no. There we go. Now, this planet looks hot as hell, huh? And you can't teach that. We'll check out this planet before getting out of here. For now, let's get inside the space station. What's that saying over there? Alright, so that's a freighter. Now, when you have money, unlike me, I don't have any money, you can actually buy freighters. We'll check that out, too. I didn't see this planet before, I don't think. Oh, no, that's the one that I just came from. Derp. Where's the entrance? Oh, over here. I guess that... Oh, well, let's very quickly get inside before we get attacked. So that looked like it was going to be some kind of battle between the um, freighter and some enemy ships, but my ship is like the very original ship and it's not outfitted with very good uh, tools in terms of battling, so better safe than sorry, let's not involve ourselves with conflicts. We have a variety of alien races saying hi to us, that's polite of them. And here's a trade terminal, just like the one that we saw on the planet before. Uh, we can sell our shielding plates, don't really need that. Don't really need that. That. Don't really need that. Keep all that stuff. So, we just made ourselves some money. Freed up some inventory space. All good news. I can probably have to get rid of that plutonium. Good. Okay. Starship still completely full because my Starship inventory is pathetic. My multi-tool is doing fairly well. Let's refill it in terms of its ammunition. Cool. Alright. Now this vendor over here will sell blueprints. Let's see if they have any good ones. I don't know if I have any, uh... I think I have some goodwill with the Corvax, but we'll see. Nope, don't really have much rank with them. I can get a shield booster for... I'm not sure if that's for the ship or for the exosuit, but either way. Don't really, not really, uh, clamoring for them. So, let's get out of here, let's check out that what looks like very molten planet, which will be cool. 
And then we're gonna get out of the system entirely and we'll see what that looks like. Here we go. Here we are. Wow, this planet has a huge atmosphere. The amount of time it's taken me to get to the uh, surface is quite long. Wow. I called the other planet a rock, but this one really looks like one gigantic lifeless rock. But it does look like there's a lot of gold on it. Let's see. Is there anything around here? I'm assuming that's going to be the whole situation on this planet. There's going to be like nothing here. Look how lifeless it looks. Let's take a land right here. Let's see how the climate is. And see what kind of elements they have on here. So this is nickel. Our very low atmosphere, which causes extra strain on life support. So it's cool how that actually falls in line with what we were saying before, how massive it was from entering the atmosphere to getting to the actual surface. That's because it's a very low atmosphere planet, which means that your life support is going to dwindle very rapidly while you're here. But it looks like it's actually really good for um, resources. I mean, because it's big and barren, you can really see where all the stuff is. My life support's really going very fast. But, looks like it's pretty good for resources. And I appreciate that, because I like me some resources. Where did I see that plutonium? Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Ooh, more thalmium? No? What is this? Oh, that's the thalmium I just got. Okay. Wow, that, uh... That life support's already halfway done. Wow. That's that's a really quick degrada uh, degradation of your life support. Um, now, I'm sure that some people are very clever with their um, naming of stuff. I am not. Instead, I like to be very practical with what I name things. So I'm actually going to call this one something to the effect of... Uh... Big and lifeless. This one was essentially water, water, water. Cool. So that's how I name things. This one I, I didn't name. Sometimes I just I just don't. Let's fly around this for another second and see if we can actually find um, a question mark spot. But I really don't like the odds here. Is, this is a very barren planet. So, what you can see from the three or so planets that we landed on is that the variety is actually fairly good. And I appreciate that. We had one planet that was actually pretty good well rounded we had one that was very much all water and this one is just this one's just a piece of shit huh alright let's go back up towards the space station and if I take a look our next 
our next real goal is to go to the next available to go to the next available system so we're gonna jump out of the system and head to an entirely new one it's just gonna take a while for us to get the hell out of here maybe not let's see oh galaxy map and here we go so so we found uh, what looks like some kind of anomaly what very confused. That's where I just was. Correct. Oh, so it wants me to go to this system and then go to this one. Because I don't have enough. Yeah. Alright, so let's head to this one right here. It has two planets and two moons. It's less than 100 light years away, so I can actually get there. Let's go! Let's see how this ends up. Taking its sweet ass time to get there, huh? You Wow, that actually works. Ooh, this is a big thing, whatever this is. Is this a space station? Okay, so that's the space station right there. There's and there's our two planets and two moons. They're all right there. This is a tiny system. Now, I don't actually know how much time it's really worth it to be spent here. Because the real place that we're looking for is the Atlas interface, which is one system away still. But... Dumadastic Stiga. Some of these names, man. Some of these names. Let's actually take a look. This, this planet looks pretty massive. I don't know if it's because we're just really close. Ooh, planet base detected. Oh, and it's on a moon. Alright, so we'll take a look at what the base system looks like. I'm probably not going to set up my base here, but... We'll see. Nothing's stopping me. I need iron. Eighteen, seventeen, sixteen, fifteen, fourteen, thirteen. My God. Yankees are now up eight to two. Love it. And we're coming closer to the base. This planet looks like it has a decent mix of water and flat earth. What really matters now, once I land, is the climate and the availability of resources. Let's see. It's not telling me yet. I must have to land first. I'm not sight by how little room there is, but let's see. Wow, could I have landed further away? My word.
pleasant weather, passive animals, and a lot of flora and fauna, apparently. This might actually be a perfect place to settle. Apparently, resources are abundant, including that plutonium all the way up there that I can't reach. I like the little, um, isolated feel. We have a little... This is all iron, which means that plenty of iron to go around when I need it. We got a cave inside, which should have plenty of iron and other goods that I need. Also, perfect entrance to the water. I think I might actually like it here. I think I might. I need iron anyway, because I was running out from refueling my fuel cell all those times. Let's get ourselves some iron. And I think I'm actually going to decide to set up a base here. Looks like it might be a might be a decent spot. Oop. Wasn't paying attention. I overheated my uh blaster there. Plenty of iron. Looks like a good amount of carbon. Um probably not a great plan in terms of the amount of metals that you can find, but Beggars can't be choosers. I really am a fan of the fact that this place has a mild climate. That's really the most important thing for me. Alright, let's... I'm gonna commit. I'm gonna set up a base here. That's a nice ship. Okay. Home planet registration mainframe. Base installation complete. Current home planet not set. Construction terminal not found. Science terminal not found. Agriculture terminal. Construction terminals installation required for further base operations, terminals, and other necessary buildings. Alright, so I get to claim this as my home planet. Should I do it? Ooh, I'm doing it. Okay, this is my home planet now. So... Discoveries. Let's let's name this. Um new name. Home. Boom. My home planet. I'll also go ahead and name the system. Home. I like the fact that there are two planets and two moons. So it's not overwhelming in terms of the amount of exploring that you'll have to do. It's one system away from a place that has a good amount of metals and a good amount of water that's good um i'm sure that the other planets will have good stuff the mild climate is the selling point though who the fuck are you blueprint trader i have i already have one in my base how about that catch me outside you have made a star traveler let me hold you build upon it show me your blueprints oh this is for um building cool I can build a biodome, an attra uh, attractive dome room, which is perfect for cultivating a wide range of botanical matter. That's cool. So they're it really stepped up its game on the resources from last time. This medicinal herb, known for its pungent buds, which are harvested to produce get nip 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 thrives in dank environments. <laughs> cool. Thrives in dank environments. I also, indeed, thrive in dank environments. Now, a cool thing about this whole thing is right here, we can go to the most previously gone to, um, I believe, space station. So, if I fly out, let's briefly fly out of this planet and go to the nearest space station, I believe that I should be able to teleport right back to my base. Let's see how that goes.
I like the fact that this is a moon, so getting out of the atmosphere took about a second and a half. These are all good qualities. Not quite out yet, though. I love how close together everything is on the system. It means less chances of getting attacked before you get somewhere. seven seconds and hopefully what I said is actually accurate that I'm gonna be able to get out of here without much issue but we shall see this recording is starting to get a little long so this will probably be the end fourteen thirteen twelve eleven ten nine eight seven six Five, four, three, two, one, boom. I like how the entrance to the space station is actually a direct shot from my planet. I don't have to fly all the way around. This, uh, that home planet's really selling itself more and more every second. Looks like we have another ship flying in right now. Am I right? Yep. Now, this is actually cool. When this ship flies in, you can actually make offers on the other life form starships. Which is cool. What do we have coming in now? Alright, so I'm fully aware that I do not have the money to buy a new ship right now. But still. Let's talk to this guy. Consul Ungak. He's a Viking, and Vikings actually love me. Um, I can buy his 19 slot ship for 155,000. That's actually not too bad, but it's only a 3 slot upgrade, so I kind of feel like not doing that but that's how that system works let's see let's see what the home races are over here hopefully it's viking if it's if it's viking that means that i really made the right fucking choice oh that's a viking they love me wow this is perfect it, what a perfect system i picked the one with the race that likes me the most a Planet with a perfect client. What's this? Scatterblast? Beam focuser? Oh, I'll buy this. I love... I love anything that makes mining faster. Um, mild climate, good resources, race that loves me curating the entire space station. Oh, perfect choice. That home planet's gonna be mine for a very long time. Let's take a uh, run over here. And on this side is where my transporter should be. Which is good. Way to safely travel to my space station without risking getting hurt. Say I want to sell something. Let's teleport. Yep. Here we go. Now if I play my cards right, I can either wind up, you know, in Timbuktu. Or I can wind up back home in my home base. Hopefully it's the second one. Yeah, this is definitely going to be the end. Holy crap, it would have been quicker just to fly home. <laughs> My god. They're really trying to make the trip worth it here. 
The teleportation would definitely be worth it once you're in other systems, so you don't have to waste warp cells, but for right now, man, that took a long time. And here we are, we're in the home system, in our home planet, and our home base, with our home me. And my ship is right here. My ship made the trip back with me. Alright. I would say that is as good a spot to end. I'm just gonna get in and back out so it saves. Boom. Perfect. I like- this is a good decoration to have right outside your home. But, I would say that's a fairly successful video. Um, I'm sorry that I was not drunk this time. It would have definitely made it a more enjoyable experience. I really was um, very selfish in not being drunk for this video, so I do... I would like to issue a formal apology for that. But, still, I... was. This is a very Wusa video. I enjoyed... I enjoyed it very, very much. And I hope that you enjoyed it too. But, until next time... Bye-bye.